Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Angie Zumwalt, and I am a Diamond Ambassador, and I am so um, happy that you all joined me tonight for this call. Um, we're just going to do, it's going to be a really quick call tonight, but it's just going to be basically um, talking about quick steps for getting you started, um, started off strong with your business. So something that I really love is um, this success guide that you get when you all get started. Um, and I don't know if any of you, if you have, haven't received this yet, but if you have, feel free to kind of go through this um, while I'm talking about it. Um, this is an amazing tool, y'all. When I got started, um, I think I got a little flip book and I mean, I got a couple of things, but nothing like this. I mean, this is a very, very simple and duplicatable way for you to get started and for you to pass down to people that you sign up underneath you. So, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so the first thing I want to uh, want you to look at is the quick start guide. So in your quick start guide, it is going to give you 10 steps for getting started. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of go over those 10 steps. And so it's the quick start guide. And then the other one that I'm going to be using is let's get you started. So the thing that I really love about these two things is I'm kind of like, I just want to know like one, two, three, tell me what to do. But a lot of people are like, if you really want the detail and the meat of exactly how to do everything, it's all right here. So these two books are just going to kind of correlate with one another. So I'm going to go ahead and start with um, number one. So number one in your quick start guide um, for getting started is be a product of the product. <laughs> Y'all, if you are wanting to share these products, I mean, even if you sign up for the wholesale discount, of course you're going to want to make sure you're taking the products, but how can you, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have something on my throat. <clears throat> how can you effectively share these products with other people if you are not taking the products? It is vital if you are wanting to share these with other people and make this a business, you must be a product of the product. You must make sure also, and I kind of say along with this um, about being a product of the product is you've got to remember now that you are a Plexus ambassador. You are a, um, not necessarily a role model, but you are to exemplify health, and um, so you also need to think about when you get started and, and all part of, I think, being a product of the product is making sure that um, even, you know, taking your products, but taking it a step further and making sure that if you are posting on Facebook, um, that you're not necessarily posting about being tired, being sick or going to Starbucks every day. You've got to remember that you're a Plexus ambassador now. So it's really important to make sure um, that you are kind of following that model, being a product of the product um, by taking your products, but also um, by kind of eating healthy and, um, you know, things like that. So number one, be a product of the product. Number two, get to know your success kit. Um, guys, there is so much amazing information in here that will help you get started. Um, pay particular attention to the success guide and, and opportunity brochure. I mean, there are a ton of brochures in here that you can hand out to other people. Um, this success guide is really going to be, like I said, a fabulous tool for you. Um, number three, state your why. Why did you join this business? Make sure. Okay, so why did you join this business? Um, did you join it just because, uh, did you start doing this just because you are um, ready to get healthy? Um, did you start doing this because um, maybe you want to be able to start 
um, stay, maybe you want to be able to quit your job and stay home with your kids. Maybe, um, you know, what is the reason why you started this business? Um, your why is so important because it is going to be something that is going to um, drive you um, and help you keep focused during those hard times in your business. So I always say your why needs to be something that makes you cry. And for me, I mean, my why has definitely evolved over time. But in the beginning, for me, it was definitely because I have always wanted to be a mama since the day my daughter was born. I wanted to be home with her. And that was my driving force was I was going to do whatever it took to be able to meet that goal, to stay home with my children and still bring in a full-time um, income without, you know, so basically not having to have that worry and that financial struggle. Um, so Another really good tool, so like I said, this um, success guide is going to a lot of times reference, let's get you started. And so if you will look on number three, it says um, write down your why or state your why. And then it says see success guide, chapter two, page eight. And so I'll turn there real quick. So if you look at chapter two, page eight, it will go into a lot more detail about how to find your why, um, giving you examples of, you know, kind of some questions, um, really drilling down to what it is, what goals, what it is that you're wanting to accomplish um, with this business. So number four, set your business goals. Um, and that is also on uh, chapter two, page nine. It starts talking about goals. What goals are you wanting to accomplish? Um, and I really think that it's important to get with your direct sponsor um, and really sit and talk about what is a realistic goal for you in working your business. Um, is it just, you know, I want to make enough money to pay for your products? Okay. What does that look like? What are you needing? You know, okay, if you have three preferred customers, well, that's going to help you pay for your products depending on what you're spending. But if you're probably buying the triplex every month, um, typically three preferred customers buying the triplex or will help you pay for your own products. Um, are you doing this because you want to pay for your mortgage? Are you doing this because you want um, to be able to quit your job? You want that financial freedom? So whatever it is, really sit down and um, talk with your upline about it and plan it out. And I say, you know, plan it out as far as, for example, if your goal is to go Emerald by this time next year, well, to go Emerald, you need approximately 300 ambassadors underneath you. So you have 12 months to get 300 ambassadors. So you need to add about 30 ambassadors every month. So really kind of just not just setting a goal that I want to pay my mortgage, I want to get to Emerald, whatever it is, but really sitting down and um, uh, drilling it down into steps and small achievable things along the way. And I think it is so important in this business to have those, to obviously, you know, to have the big goal, but to really work on focusing on the small goals, the daily steps that it takes you to reach the big goal and to have some accomplishment things that you can pat yourself on the back for um, along the way. So um, number five, uh, connect with your sponsor and upline or upline, um, I really like to do if um, I sign up someone new, or I probably don't do this as much anymore, um, but I, I did in the beginning, and I really, really highly recommend you doing this. Um, it's what I recommend my downline to do, um, is when I add somebody new, 
I, or when one of my downline adds someone new, a lot of times they will loop that new person in on a three-way message with me and them. So it would be my level one, and then they're going to message me in with their new level one. The reason why I love doing something like this is because um, it helps kind of build that bridge of communication between me and their um, new ambassador. And also, I mean, if my level one is also brand new um, and they are kind of like, um, they don't know all the answers to the questions, maybe they have a full-time job, maybe they just have a busy schedule, that way we are all there to help support and encourage one another. If their new downline has a question, they can just ask it in that group chat, like, you know, hey, could you tell me a little bit more about this product or how do I respond to this answer or this question? And let's say that my um, downline doesn't know how to respond. It's a really good teachable moment because then I could respond back and go, okay, this is how you would respond. So if that question ever got answered in, or asked in the future, everybody would know how to do it. And it's also, if, if the other person is busy, there's always kind of someone there that will be able to help um, the new person along. Um, it is vital to making sure you are plugging your new person in for the best success as possible. Um, when you get a new person, you want to make sure to, even if they are going to be just a wholesale ambassador and they are only wanting to get their products at discount, um, it is vital to make sure that you are adding them to the team page. I always say, you know, get a, get a three-way call set up with your upline, get them on a little group chat, um, but really make sure that you're getting them plugged in and connected. So number Six is making your Franks list. So a Franks list is friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbor, uh, neighborhood, and uh, kid connections, and service um, organizations. So this is also referenced in the success guide on page two, num uh, um, sorry, chapter two, page 13 and 14. So you could turn here, and I love what they've done here. So it really breaks down um, the Franks list and how you go about doing that. And then on the other side, you could actually create your Franks list there. Now, there are many, many ways that you could go about creating your um, prospect list. Um, the way that I went about doing it, um, is a little different than the Frank's list. What I did is um, you can go to Facebook and on Facebook, if you go to the um, settings tab and pull up, um, I, can, I can show you that in just a minute, but if you go to the settings tab um, and then there's a little section in the settings tab where you can actually go and download a copy of all of your Facebook contacts. And then Facebook will compile them all together. They will send them to you in a little data email. Um, and then you can transfer that email or all of that data into an Excel spreadsheet and boom, you have a list. And then you could just go through, take out people that um, are non-Plexus people. Um, you, you have an Excel spreadsheet there where you could add in columns. You could kind of put like however you wanted to do that. or if you wanted to go old school, you could just write everybody's name down. So um, there's also a um, memory jogger, which is another way that you could do your list. But your list is your key to success. The more people you have on your list, the more likely you are going to be more successful. If you only have five people on your list, and three people tell you no, you're gonna be discouraged. If you have 100 people on your list and 20 people tell you no, you're like, well, I still have 80 more people. I really encourage you to make your list as big as possible. 
expand your list, expand your network on Facebook. Um, I always say, go try to go try to friend at least 10 new friends a week on Facebook, five, 10 friends a week on Facebook. Go to your husband's Facebook, check out who his friends are that you might know. Um, go to your mama's Facebook and check out people that you remember when you were three years old. Um, anyone that you were an acquaintance with, go and friend them on Facebook. Start developing a relationship with them. Um, and this is going to help you um, kind of expand and build your network. I think somebody is on If you are not muted, would you just double check to make sure y'all are all muted? I can't tell who it is, but um, if you'll just make sure you're muted so it kind of blocks out that um, sound. So it's so, so important, like I was saying, to make sure that you are expanding your network and while you're doing that. And as you're expanding your network, add those people to your list. And not necessarily, um, if you first add someone to Facebook, you don't want to just add them to Facebook and start hitting them up for Plexus. I really truly believe that it is important to be intentional about building a relationship. Maybe it's just, you know, hey girl, I was so excited to find you on Facebook. And then you kind of ping each other back and forth a couple of times. Plexus is going to say, oh, Angie likes to see Monica stuff because Angie just sent Monica a Facebook message and all of a sudden Monica is going to start seeing your um, your Plexus post and then she's probably going to ask you a question about it. So don't always, when you go start expanding your network on Facebook, don't automatically start hitting them up. Um, but, you know, kind of develop that relationship and then go from there. Um, but I will say, I will, will back up on there. When you make your list, start working that list immediately. Do not wait to talk to people about Plexus. Do not wait. And, and that's kind of different in the sense that if you just friended someone, you don't want to just be like cute Plexus all over them because it's a big turnoff. Now, unless it comes up in a conversation or something like that, or they ask you, but people that are already kind of like your established friends on Facebook, or you know your established friends, message them, talk to them about face or about Plexus. Because if you don't talk to them about Plexus, somebody else is. So do not have that fear. Do not be afraid to share that with them. Um, number seven, uh, set up a three-way, uh, set up three-way face-to-face, uh, a face-to-face -face gathering. I think it's important if your if your upline is in the same state as you. Um, set up, I mean, in, in the same um, areas you set up a one on one meeting with them, set up a Zoom meeting with them um, so that you can really um, work with them and make sure that you are getting start getting off on the best foot possible. Um, and then also setting up, you know, coffees with your girlfriend or, or play dates with different people. Um, when I first started, I was really intentional about you know as a stay-at-home mom you're home all the time and you're like not really you know unless you're picking up your kids sometimes you're just home but I had to force myself to be intentional about setting up coffee dates setting up play dates making sure that I was out and about and um, wearing my plexus stuff um, plexus swag is something that's not here but if you do not have Plexus swag, go out and get you some. Um, you can buy Plexus swag on Etsy. Um, you can buy it. I mean, I'm sure there's a million different places that you can go buy Plexus swag. But a lot of times it is an easy, easy um, conversation starter and introduction into Plexus. Have, have a sweatshirt on, have a um, Plexus cup. Um, a lot of times I like to go to the, um, to the grocery store and, um, I'll buy water and I will put, um, Plexus in my water before I buy it. And then I'll hand it to the lady and it's happened several times and it's struck up a conversation 
And she kind of looks at my water funky, like, what is in here? I'm like, oh, that's just my pink drink. And she's like, oh, what is that? Um, that's just kind of a little tip there, something kind of, you know, to sneak it into people sometimes. Um, so let's see, face-to-face -face gathering, make sure you're setting those up. And again, that is found a little more um, detailed on that is found on um, the success guide, chapter five, page 45 through 46. So you can go here, you can get a little more detail on that if you like. Um, set up your back office. Um, once you get started, um, you know, you, you'll notice you kind of just get into your back office, play around with it. There are so many wonderful tools that you can access in your back office. You can go back there and um, there's shareables that you can use to share on Facebook. There are different resources such as videos, YouTube videos, training videos. Um, there are also, um, you can go and look at the comp plan and kind of read and try to start understanding that a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's a really good idea to just kind of go in there, play in your back office. Something else I like to tell people to do is pretend you're a customer of your own and click on your website, go through, okay, like how would I enter a preferred order if I was a customer? How would I enter a retail order? Like walk through doing those steps so that when people call you and they're like, Angie, I I'm not sure how to order. Like how do I order as preferred? You can kind of say, okay, go in here, click on this box, select preferred, click on, you know, like you could really walk them through how to do it because you've been, you've done that before. So make sure you play around with that, play around in your back office. And um, there are a lot of really great resources back there. Um, explore the learning center. Um, and that's kind of the same thing. There's a lot of great um, information there of the learning center. Um, you can also order uh, business cards there um, via, it's the uh, Plexus Print, um, myplexusprint.com, where you can get some different downloadable um, brochures. I think there's some other ones you can order. Um, I also like to order off of Etsy. Probably my favorite um, little brochures are from uh, Graphics Nanny. Um, they're just little like trifolds. Um, I like them because they're small and compact. It has all the information on there and it's easy to send to somebody. But the magazines that are in the back office are really nice to have too. Um, and I think you can get like a bundle for $25 or something like that. Um, and then number 10 is um, get connected and stay connected. I think it's really important that when you first start doing something, that you are automatically um, plugging in, that you are getting connected, um, that you are, you know, like tonight, you're getting on, um, you're getting on this call tonight, you're plugging into the calls, you're kind of just learning and digging in and getting as much information as you can. And, um, you know, you, um, it's very important to know that this is your business. It is not your uplines business. It is not your downlines business. You are the person that is responsible for your success in this business. Um, so make sure that you are kind of just jumping in, getting on these calls, staying connected, um, searching YouTube. I mean, there are a thousand different wonderful, wonderful um, YouTube training videos um, that you can watch. Um, so make sure you're just kind of jumping in there. And a lot of times, you know, especially maybe if your upline's new or busy or whatever it is, um, we don't know how to help you unless you ask. So ask questions. I always tell people, you know, the only stupid question is the one that not asked. So make sure that you are asking a lot of questions. Um, and um, really just jumping in and engaging with your business. And um, something that I was really nervous about when I got started was products because 
I, I mean, I still, you know, Diamond Ambassador, and you could ask me what are in some of these things, and I know that probably sounds really bad, but um, products are very intimidating to me still. But something that I love that is in your success kit are these really awesome product cards. Um, the cool thing about these product cards is they have all the information on here for you. You could basically um, do a meeting. You could do a face-to-face, -face, um, a face-to-face -face with a potential by using these products cards, these product cards, and then also your learn to earn guide if that's someone that's wanting to work the business. So the cool thing that I really liked is on the front of the cards, you'll notice it has just a little bit of information about the product, how you take the product, and then on the back of the card, it has talking points and um, what you might say to someone when you're talking about, you know, the accelerator, for example, it says um, a talking point you might say if you want to speed up um, your weight management program or get past your plateau. Um, this is a great companion with the slim. So you don't have to do this on your own. You have the tools, all the tools you need to get started right here in the success kit. And I actually put a little um, ring. I hole punched and put a little ring. And um, I carry these with me all the time. I actually bought a couple more um, of the uh, welcome or success kits so I could have more of these. And I carry them with me um, all the time. And, and I'm always still kind of looking at them, trying to learn more about a product. Um, when you start off, I know that it can be a little um overwhelming because you know we do have uh, several you know, a lot of products but what i would recommend doing is starting off with um the starting off with the triplex so the triplex combo is the uh, plexus slim the bio cleanse and the probio those are the three products that i would say really start to learn those products get a, um, I have a little cheat sheet that I'll post um, after the call that I have saved on my phone. And it just kind of has, you know, a little bit about each product. I have it saved in my phone. So if someone asks a question, I'm on the phone with them. I can pull up my cheat sheet. I can pull this out. Um, it's a real simple way for me to talk about it. But then also all the other products, if you can just learn one sentence about them, until you have time to go in and really study them more, that's all that you need. You do not have to know everything. It is completely okay if someone asks you a question and you tell them, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm new at this, I wanna make sure to answer you in the best way possible, let me go do some research, get with my upline and I'll get back with you. People love that. They love that you're gonna go research and you're gonna go um, do whatever you can to make sure that they get the best possible answer back. So don't be afraid to tell people that you don't know everything right now. It is okay. Um, another great thing, another thing that kind of intimidated me when I got started is I thought I will never figure out this compensation plan. Um, guess what? You don't have to figure out this compensation plan in the beginning. You will learn it eventually. Um, the, the, Biggest thing for you to know is when I talk to people, I'm like, there are 11 ways to earn with a company, and I'm going to tell you about three of them. And so I tell them, okay, people want to know about the compensation. And the compensation plan is, or they want to know about commission. So I tell them, you know, you get 15% commission. If you're 400, you know, $499 or below, you get 25% commission. If you're at $500 or below, you know, kind of breaking that down. And then um, maybe if it's a new ambassador, I always encourage if you are a brand new ambassador, the quickest way for you to make your money back is by going silver. And going silver means that you have three ambassadors, um, three qualified ambassadors sign up underneath you. Um, either if they want to be an ambassador 
or if they're wanting to be a whole self customer. So um, when you get those three people to sign up underneath you and purchase your welcome pack, you get um, paid a building bonus off of each welcome pack that they purchase. So for the small welcome pack, you get about $25. For the big welcome pack, you get about $50. So right there, you're getting anywhere from $75 to $150 right off the bat. Then Plexus is going to send you a one-time achievement bonus of $100 for going silver. So you've paid for your welcome pack right then. And something that I am so excited about, I hope that you are all taking advantage of the um, diamond groups right now. If you're not, let me know if you're interested. I would love to get you plugged in. Um, this promotion that the company is running right now is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I have never... Um, since I've been with the company for two and a half years, and this is probably the very best incentive promotion that I have ever seen them run. And what a phenomenal time to grow your business. Because now as a silver ambassador, you're going to get not a $100 bonus for going silver. You're going to get a $200 bonus for going silver. For being a Gold ambassador, you're going to get a $500 bonus. Like every single bonus this month is going to be doubled. This is the prime time to work on building your business and growing your team and reaching your goals. Um, so I really encourage you to take advantage of that. Um, feel free to message me if you need some help with getting plugged into um, one of those groups. If you don't know about the groups, feel free to rush it, message me. Um, and I'll be happy to share that with you. Um, but I'll go back over to this learn to earn thing. So if you're going to talk to someone about the business, you can pull out this learn to earn. And you can just go straight through the book. You don't have to memorize everything. It's just one through 11. And it breaks down every single way that you get paid. Um, another great thing that we have in the success kit is this, um, what if this could change everything? And um, this book just kind of talks about, um, you know, the history of Plexus. Um, Plexus uh, started in 2009, or it, um, in 2009, Plexus Slim um, introduces third product, Plexus Slim. I mean, it just kind of breaks down the history of the company. Um, it also breaks down, you know, kind of the bonuses. It's kind of a little like all wrapped into one, um, a business meeting right here that you could bring and share with someone um, and talk to them about the opportunity. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss out something else. In the Everything in there. And there's even some cute little thank you cards in here. Um, that you could send to people, uh, send to new customers. Um, that's always a good idea. So really become, um, really become very familiar with this quick start guide and start utilizing it, y'all. Jump in there and just do it. Um, don't be afraid to get started. Um, you are probably on one of the top teams in Plexus. Um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There are so many other people that have paved the way for you. Reach out to them, do what they're doing, and um, you will be successful. So um, this was just a really quick call. I just kind of wanted to go over the um, 10 steps to getting started and let you know what you already have readily available for you. Y'all, I really, really hope that you're taking advantage of this success guide. And um, this is such a, I, I love it because it is easy. It, I mean, it, it's simple and it's duplicatable. It's something that is not going to be overwhelming to a brand new person because you could say, hey, um, let's go through the success guide together. Let's pull it out. Okay, number one, did you order your products? 
then just go down line by line. If you have a person that wants more information, pull out this book. Here's all your detailed information here. Um, you know, if you don't know about the products, here's your product cards. And um, just make sure that you are utilizing and taking advantage of this information. And every time you get a new ambassador, I like to um, call or, you know, set up a call with a couple of them or one of them or whatever, one-on-one. -on -one, and I go over this with them so that um, they know what they have in front of them and the tools that they need to help make them successful. So I am, am happy to open it up to any questions and answers next or questions. Um, next week, we will be going over um, kind of the next step. We'll be kicking it up a lot. Um, Ellen is going to do that call with me next week. Um, but if you have any questions, um, feel free to unmute yourself and ask. And I'm happy to help you out um, in any way that I can. Don't all unmute yourself at one time. Just okay. If you don't have any questions, um, y'all always feel free to message me. And um, just a little tip, if I do not respond back the first time, please message me again. Sometimes my... Um, my mailbox gets a little crazy. So um, I try to make sure that I get everybody, but sometimes um, I might miss a message. So please always feel free to reach out to me. Did you have a question, Holly? No, I'm just saying, hey. Um, I had some you know, I wanted to hop on to check on them. So I'm so glad you did this tonight. I had another call with Scott Panky. So I was just coming in late. Oh, yes, I saw that. That looks like an awesome call. I was excited. It went well. Good, good. Okay, well, if that is all from y'all, I will go ahead and close this out, but always feel free to reach out to me at any time. Um, I will also post this on the, um, the pages so that you can share this with your downline. Um, make sure to be in on the call next week. It's gonna be really, really good. And we're gonna be going in on a little bit more detail on um, how to work your business. So I'm gonna stop the recording. I hope that you all have a great night.